Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Paisley Hayes. I'm here with Dennis, my director of operations. And today I got the Cam Model Collective in the building. How are y'all doing today? Good, how about you? Good, good. So would you like to take the time to introduce yourselves and let all the girls and guys watching know who y'all are? I'll go first. Um, I'm Luscious Leisha. I am a uh, cam model I've been um, on Chatterbait for about five years. I'm a phone sex operator on Sex Panther. I sell on platforms like Senate Pansy, um, many vids. I'm all over the place. I used to host a podcast called Cambrill Diaries Podcast. You can still see interviews on there as well as I did a few on Paisley. So you go check those out too. Um, but yeah, I'm a MILF. Um, I don't really have a niche. I'm kind of like eclectic all over the place. Okay. That's about it. Awesome sauce. And Miss Kathy? Hi guys, I am Kepi Carter. I am a cam girl, fetish model, um, you know, online dom. I have been in the industry for since about 2018, 2019. Um, let's see, I am on Streamate. That is my main cam um, platform. I am on Slushy. And I love Slushy and Sex Panther. Those are my top three. And then, of course, I'm on like OnlyFans and Money Vids and Clips for Sale. I do not put all my eggs in one basket. That's for sure. And then I am specifically, I am a calf muscle fetish model. So Ooh, that's okay. kind of a cool thing to know about me, I guess. Tell us more about that. How did you get into <laughs> knowing that was even a thing? My customers, you know, growing up, I was always told like my calves are too big, they're ugly, they're this, they're that. And ooh, when I got in the industry, people were just like requesting it back to back to back. And then I found that it was a thing and like it gave me the confidence that I've never had before when it comes to that. And now that's my main fetish that I do. That is mainly my only fans is all calf muscle content. I think that's amazing how you took something that, you know, you were criticized for for so long and turned it into this genius idea and now it's your top that niche. is you thank you appreciate that okay so i wanted to talk about y'all individually for a second and then we'll get into the cam model collective because that's fine so tell us a little bit more about you alicia well um i'm kind of a basic bitch um i'm a pagan <laughs> i uh, I, uh, I'm huge into mental health. Um, I started the Cam Model Collective because I kind of want like a community for, I want everyone to know like there's this place that you can go. I mean, if you want to hit me up anywhere on my socials. If you have any questions or you just have anything you want to talk about, like I am there for you. I will talk to anybody any time of the day. Um, I'm huge about um, ending the stigma. You know, I try to try to get that shit out there. Um, you know, be you. It doesn't matter if you do this for a living. It's, it's you, just do it. Um, so yeah, I'm just, kind of just eclectic like I said like I'm all over the board um like on Chatterbait I'm known as a Chatterbait game show host I take um regular like games like say the price is right we have like the punch game so I actually make that like a physical thing of it and I'll make it into like a sex a sex game so I usually play game shows like that on my show and it, like in my shows like I don't get I don't get naked on camera really we talk it's like a talk show <laughs> people come to me to talk I'm really easy to talk to they say um so that's I've had a lot of success on Chatterbait with the games like people come there for the games and then, you know, when you get them right, I take clothes off. So, I mean, there's good rewards added on to it. When's your birthday? Mine's May 8th. I'm a Taurus. Taurus. And what are you, Kefi? I am a Leo. Oh, okay. My favorite sign. Mine too. I love, I love Leos. <laughs> I love me some Leos. Um, but, okay, so how does, well, not how does, when you tell your fans that you're pagan, how do they react? A lot of people are scared of my eyes. I don't know why they say that it's scary. Some people don't want to talk to me, which is fine. You know, you can leave my room. That's fine. A lot of people have questions about it. I do like tarot pulls on my show and stuff, oracle card readings, stuff like that. Um, people are usually generally okay with it, though. Mm -hmm. I stuff. attract a lot of witches on my channel and a lot of people that do tarot cards and things like that. And I just love it, yeah. honestly. So I don't know what I would consider myself because I'm not religious. So I don't really want to be under a religion. But I definitely do spells and manifest and get what I want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not hard. You can definitely do manifestation every day and get what you want every day of the week. You just got to put the effort in. Kind of like camming. You got to put the effort and persistence in that. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So what's your most memorable experience that you've had on cam? 
Most memorable. There's been quite a few, I would say. We talked about this on a podcast uh, episode on the Cam Model Collective is the one time I was streaming live on Chatterbait and the guy was saying like he had me in his backyard. He lived, he had a lot of money, he had like those screens set up and I was up on up on screen, you know, having a squirt show in front of like 500 people. So that was oh, kind wow. of cool, you know, I wish I could have been in the audience watching. <laughs> That's really cool. I was going to say, I like how unique your camming is. Like you're not just one thing, you're many different things. Yeah. So when they come and join you, they never know what to expect. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm all over the place and that, that makes it interesting. It's like the one time I didn't know what to do. I always tried to have something to do on the show. So I'm like, my kid had schoolwork to do. So I had people you know, give me tokens to answer math questions. It was great. You know, we always make a fun time out of it. That's awesome. I like that you keep it unique. Thank and that you. really makes you stand out. So I commend you on that. Thank you. Okay, and what about you, Kepi? The most unique. <clears throat> you know, my favorite thing to do on Cam is to talk to people. I say that we are um, not so much psychologists what is the word i'm looking for psychologists psychiatrists no Ther therapists. therapists thank you wow <laughs> sleepy guys um yeah i think that that's a big part of our job and i absolutely love i had like a two it was an almost two hour exclusive show just talking like just talking about life and i love that i love being personal to a point with my customers. I'm not um I'm not personal. I don't get personal, but I'm me. Like I don't I don't have a character that I play. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I yeah. think yeah, my 2 hour like just talking and then I had a table hump show. That was pretty um memorable. He just wanted me to like hump a corner of a table. So, yeah, I did okay. that. How was that? <laughs> it was I'm not gonna lie, it felt good. <laughs> not gonna lie to y'all. No, you learn, you learn a lot of new things about yourself doing what we do. I mean, every day. It's true. So, you, you like certain fetishes. When I first, I forgot to tell you, when I first started camming, um, I I joined as a couple with my ex, and we did a piss show. I got pissed on. That was pretty hot. <laughs> Hot and hot. hot and warm. I was like, damn, I expected to be that hot. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weirdest thing y'all have gotten asked to do? Probably the table hump. <laughs> well, I don't know. I get I get this guy that comes in too and he wants me to just check my heart rate while I'm like coming. Like he wants me to like check it on my watch and like hold my chest and like tell him how hard my heart's beating and you like the rush that you experience. That's mm -hmm. what he likes. Yeah, that okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. He wants to yeah. see how into it you are and how it affects your body when you I like, Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. And he keeps coming back. Like um, then you're definitely good at what you do. So <laughs> what's y'all's favorite platform to work on? Streaming. Why about is it? that? Everybody's been telling me such good things about it. Um, because you don't have to continuously uh, entertain for hours on end. You can sit and wait for shows in between. You're not, you don't always have people in your room. I mean, that's just kind of how it is. Even for the biggest girls on there, you're not going to have people in your room consistently. And you can take that time to be like, and you get a break button. So you don't have to log off. You can hit that break button, take a break for 10 minutes and get back on. So awesome. I think that's a huge help m with mental health. Uh, mental health wise. Oh, somebody's trying to call me on Instagram. We don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I would say my favorite one is scentedpansy.com. I always say that because it's the first one I ever started selling panties on. But it's not just panties, it's fetish items, it's everything. And it's fun. I like their interface. It's it's a good it's a good platform. Okay. Okay, so catch us up to the Cam Model Collective. What made you start that? And how did y'all partner together? Well, I had um, been the host on Cam Girl Diaries podcast for probably almost a year, and I wasn't really in line with what my vision was. So I decided to go up my own. And Kathy, I met on an interview. I interviewed her. God, how long ago was it? Like a year ago? Almost six months ago. Yeah. yeah. And we really clicked. Um, we have a lot of the same um, background, and we just we're good friends. And I thought she'd be we'd be good together. And I just want to. I started the podcast 
the channel just to like get everything out there that cam models should know. Um, kind of like what you do with Mattress Actress Academy, but not to that extent, you know, and about just spreading the information around. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so. I was, I was super excited when she asked me to join because I was just like, I was surprised and I just absolutely love the way that we clicked and I have so much information that I just want to spew out to everybody. Cause like I said, you know, we don't, we don't gatekeep anything. So mm -hmm. um, any information that I have is eventually going to get out to everybody as well. And that's what makes, you know, everyone stand out here is that a lot of people do get keep and that's really crappy. You know, we should be helping each other to boost each other up, point us in the right direction. So y'all are amazing for that, you know? And the fact that y'all two met each other and are helping spread that awareness and helping people, it's fantastic. I think it's important that you work with people you're very compatible with and that you're friends with. I agree. Business first. <laughs> but definitely have to get um, people that you're good with. I know throughout my experience, just even before like Paisley has YouTube, just hiring help and stuff has been a long journey for me. Find people to help me out. <laughs> and compatible people. And compatible people. It was difficult. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because sometimes you know you just don't work, and it's not like anything's wrong with anything. You just don't. You know. You know. You don't click. You know. And you can't have that. It's gonna bring stress into the relation, the business relationship, because you just don't get along. You know what I mean? And that's okay. That's okay. You just gotta find somebody you vibe with, just like the sites that you're gonna work on. You gotta find a site that you're gonna work with, you know, just like the people. Yeah, for sure. So what y'all's life like outside of this industry? <laughs> I don't have a life. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate to that. I'm strictly just work, 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 work. So that's my life. I'm the same too. Like I have a vanilla, I stopped camming. I used to cam five days, seven days a week. Like that was my full-time job, but um, I had a mental health issue and I stopped camming altogether. So I got like a vanilla job. So I do that still. Like I have three jobs, but I'm trying to intricate, um, intricate um, the camming back into it. But it's just, I gotta, I gotta switch gears with sites because I'm just not digging the token sites anymore. It's too much work. Well, okay, why not? Because I love me some chai cam soda. Did you see? I just, I just can't get with it. Like, these guys just come in there and they just want to sit and chat and not throw anything. Or just the Mr. One cent, you know, one cent every time. Like, oh my God, I can't deal. Okay, I so I was in a bad situation for the past five months. Um, it was hard. <laughs> so I couldn't really cam as much as I want. I don't let it show online, so people will probably just never know. Mm -hmm. But I was dealing with like a narcissist and it was just really hard. I can't, I just can't explain how hard it was. And uh, fuck, I lost my train. What were we talking about? Narcissists. Oh, the token sites. The token sites. Yeah. So I hadn't been on there. So I recently got back on the past couple of days. And it's just like all my guys have been coming back. I made Cam Soda Star of the Hour. And everybody's been telling me to go on the stream eight. Um, Kate, y'all know Kate. Yeah. Um, She's been trying to get me to go on there, Tender Montana. Like, they all tell me about it. And I get it. It's great. But I just can't leave. <laughs> I can't leave Kim Soda. They're just, you know, I've been on there for so long. I don't want to break up with them. It's it's like a relationship. and It pisses me off sometimes, especially when it's the cheapos. But then when my regulars come back and are dropping tokens on me and they're dropping 50 to 100 tokens and stuff at a time versus just a couple couple of them it makes me feel good you know yeah it's true i just when i just got back on last week i, I was i was happy that everybody was there because they're like oh my god you're back and like people actually miss me like people miss me yeah. more online than in the real world and it's true like yeah. i have friends online <laughs> i really do and oh, yeah. i just want to say this online friends are real friends. Mm -hmm, exactly. Like, I don't think them your little online friends. No, fuck you. Them are my real friends. Exactly. <laughs> I hope they're real because this is the only friends I got. <laughs> right? Me too. I don't really, I have one other friend out here and I don't know about that, but yeah, speaking of narcissists, dude, I just got rid of one. The last year has been hell for me. Yeah. Um, I never even, ex I knew it existed. I never even dealt with it before and I just got rid of them yesterday. Hopefully for I good. 
it didn't hit me because my mom was a narcissist and like gaslit me and always called me weird and just names you should never call your children. Like I've been, there's, I, I always say this all the time and I don't think people get how serious it is. There's nobody on earth that can tell me something that my own mom hasn't already told me. So you can't offend me. You can't embarrass me. You can't make me look bad. You can't talk shit about me because my own mom and I don't get along with either one of my parents. Like I don't, I don't talk to them. So it's just like, I had this, that's what else brought confidence. I'm like, you know what? These motherfuckers that brought me into this world don't give a fuck. So I don't care what none of y'all got to say. Like I'm, I'm, I'm be me. I'm going to be the best version. And I think I am so like giving and helpful because I never had that. And I feel like I've just been on my own my whole life and I've always had to figure it out and you shouldn't have to live that way. So going from my mom doing that and not like, I'm just realizing my mom was a narcissist and I'm just realizing I have mommy issues, you know? And so to then dealing with it from a man, it's like, no, this is what my mom did. Like, I, I don't deserve this. I deserve someone who wants to keep me happy mentally and in a good mindset, because if you're tearing me down, like fuck physical, I never got hit or anything. But that mental stuff can drain you and you're just crying and you're just like, why, why is the person that I'm talking to or whatever doing this to me? But then I get online and everybody's praising me. That means you're jealous. (laughs) You're jealous. Mental emotional abuse. So I'm sorry that you were dealing with that too, because it's, it's not good and you don't deserve it. No, none of us do. No. Mm -hmm. So, okay, how do y'all manage dating in this industry? <laughs> I don't. I don't date. That was that narcissist shit. It's like the first time I tried after four years. But um, I always get that shit where, oh, you're a cam model? Ew, I can't date a cam model. And no man is ever going to tell me what I can and can't do. So there it goes. So are you up front from the very jump? That you yeah. do start talking to somebody like, hey, I do this. And they've always yeah. just been like, oh, no, that's horrible. Yeah, I've yeah, I've always been always up front. My first two questions, because I'm 41, and um, my, one of my first two questions is is what I tell them is I'm a cam model. And no, what you say is not going to stop me from doing that. And second, I'm all, let me see your dick because I need to see how big it is because you know we're just going to start there. So yeah, the size matter. No. No, it's too big. It's too big. What size? What y'all's perfect size? Oh, yeah. five and a half, five and a half to eight inches. Say so, yeah, seven, seven. Anything eight. over eight inches, I can't do. I, I, I physically. I, I like seven to eight. Seven to eight. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about you? What about you, Paisley. I don't know. <laughs> well, I like guys and girls, and Happy Pride Month, by the way. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, talking about. I just want to be with a girl. I don't really. I, want to be that's with what I'm doing. Like I'm by too, so I just want. I just I'm thinking about doing that. Hey, Paisley, what you doing later? <laughs> I am an abstinent <laughs> cam girl. I have not had sex in three years. So when I got in this industry, I was with somebody and I broke up with him. That's what kind of got me in the corner, like back mm-hmm. me into the corner. So when I got back with him, I'm like, listen, this is what I'm doing. And if you're not with it, I'm out. And he became my cam man. <laughs> so <laughs> he um and he was cool with it, but I haven't been with anybody since. So like it's not the sex I miss. I could fuck myself better than anybody could. However, it's the intimacy that I miss. The human touch, the the cuddling, the the all that. That's what I miss. But nope, no sex, no dating, no nothing. I live online. I do. So exactly. When do y'all feel like y'all get back out there? Because y'all are all beautiful and y'all do deserve to be loved. So don't don't think we that you're gonna do. be le- you know alone forever. Like that, that's really the one thing I don't like is the stigma that's behind this. But y'all do deserve to be loved. Just remember that. I think when you don't look for it, it comes. So I'm just not looking. I am not looking. I'm gonna let it just let it be and see what happens. Cause I am very content right now with where I'm at. I'm very happy. Yeah. I don't know. Like I don't know if I'm ever gonna do it again. Like before I got with that guy, the narcissist. I, I was actually I didn't have sex for like three years. Uh, my fiance died and I didn't date anybody till this dude. So like almost four years I didn't date anybody. And now I'm just like, man, first time back around, I get stuck with this shit. So I don't know. I don't honestly know. I think I'm always going to be alone. Honestly. Well, I still have my fairy tale person is out there. 
Like, I believe my person's out there and they're just, I don't know, but they're there. Stuck? Um, Are they stuck somewhere? <laughs> That's what I'm I feel like they stuck. But I just dropped my whole roster. I'm starting, I'm starting the roster, so. We're starting from scratch. <laughs> Start from scratch, taking applications. So I'm taking app. I want to go on dates. I miss it. I know it's been a long time, almost five years for me. I'm on plenty of fish, you know, those dating apps. And let me tell you, ugh, it's scary shit out there. Like, I just don't even, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's all weird. It's one of those things I feel like men, and this is just coming from personal preference, but I feel like men have forgotten how to treat women nowadays. They don't really realize y'all's worth, you know. And they just don't know how to date. They don't know how to treat you right, take you out, spoil you anymore. And now everything is just, just like, oh, everything is equal. So same thing you do for me, I, you know, you should be doing, you know, it should be equal all the way around. Yeah, I agree I'm with not you. Yeah. you but mm-hmm. it's one of those things. I just feel like it's been, it's changed. The dynamic of dating has changed a lot and it's been more difficult. Yeah. But- yeah, no new friends. If I haven't known you all my life and we're not reconnecting, I don't know if I could be with somebody new. I don't I don't want to learn about you. I don't want you to learn about me. I don't want to get your baggage. You don't want my baggage. Like I've the people that I've dated in the last, I don't know, probably in the last five to ten years have been somebody that and my kids' fathers both. <laughs> oops. Yeah. Are um are both somebody that I've known all my life. So. Same with me. Like the last dude I went to school with for twelve years. I don't want to take that time to get to know somebody. I really oh, don't. Yeah. It I is a lot of work. <sighs> Understanding their baggage and all that. It is a lot of work. Yeah. You know, it's we call our own and my own shit. And it's like, no, I feel like I'm a circus, so I just no one wants that shit. I just I have a really bad self like esteem issue. So it's like I always like think badly about things. That's just me. Yeah, you know, we're gonna change that mindset. No, I'm trying. It's hard. Goes back to the attachment style shit when I was young, you know, that has a lot to do with it. All I can tell you is don't let anybody ever stop you from, you know, doing what you do. And also don't expect, don't let someone treat you less than what you're worth. Because y'all are all beautiful and y'all do amazing things. Y'all are independent and y'all do some really good stuff for people and y'all deserve the best. Just remember that. Uh, The stigma that's out there over everything, screw that. Y'all are amazing. So... Thanks, Dennis. Just remember that. Um, damn, I was not sure that. What was I going to tell y'all? Oh, let's touch on if y'all are comfortable, because I know not everybody is talking about parenting. Because <laughs> I've, I've been telling, I'm a single mom. Okay, I tell my fans that I tell everyone. So I'm really open, but I'm curious to so see y'all's experiences with parenting and being an adult worker. I'm a single mom as well, and uh, it's just me. It's always has always has been. Um, my kids do know what I do. They kind of figure that out themselves. They are they're young. Um, they're both twelve, okay. but I'm very open with my children. I always have been. Uh, we talk about everything. I mean, they can come to me about anything, and they just when they found out that I did it, they said, "Well, it seems about right for you." You know, it's just I try to educate them that there is no stigma with everything like that I do. Um, yeah, I just I'm very an open parent, and I just keep anything, everything honest, but it has been hard though with the kids at school. Like I am the odd parent out. Nobody wants to be my friend at school. You know, I don't, I don't fit into any of these little cliques or whatever because of what I do. People know what I do and I'm honest about what I do. You ask me, I'm going to tell you. If you don't like it, you know, there's the door. I, what It is what it is. So yeah, I mean, they have gotten picked on in school because of what their mom does. People are saying that you know, I'm a prostitute. No, I'm not a prostitute. You know, it's just uneducated people moms at schools are the most difficult to oh. get along and they're the most yeah. judgmental people but they're not yeah. perfect so and I've always been the weirdo people have called me all my life I've done my own thing so I'm not gonna like fold and like be like oh you know I don't do that for a living I just uh, I do I fuck myself you know for a living you know I get guys off that's what I do yeah <laughs> see and they don't really take the time to, to get to know you and that that's their loss Exactly. Just met, and I think you're freaking fantastic. I don't see you as the odd one out or anything like that in any way, shape, or form. But they don't want to take the time to get to know you, so screw them. They're not worth they're even scared. getting to know. They're just scared because they're all they're all vanilla, but they don't want to be vanilla. But they can't, you know, they can't explore. You know, I can. You know. They're, they're just mad because a lot of men fantasize about you. So and what about fast. you, Kevy? 
Um, I am so grateful. So when I left my ex, I moved back home, which was probably something that I never thought I would do. And I'm so grateful for it. Like I have a village. So I work third shift. So I try to be, um, I try to be there with my kids when they wake up, I'm done working, you know what I mean? And I'm ready to go. My mom tags in when she gets home and she puts them to bed for me so I can go to sleep, which is so nice because there's yeah i'm so grateful for her she's like my guardian angel for real she is that's really good Mm -hmm. good. everybody i know mother's day passed and it was a lot of people feeling down and stuff but i said the people that have good moms y'all better be thankful Mm -hmm. like not everybody's privileged i've done my best to heal from my own mom trauma and make sure i'm the best mom i could possibly be like me and my daughter talk about everything we're really close. She doesn't know what I do. She she knows I do consultations. Um, she nice. she knows about classes. Oh, I gotta go teach my class. She don't ask me what I'm teaching. <laughs> <laughs> like if she'll pass through real quick, it's women, you know. So you're not like assuming anything. Um, and she knows I have like she okay. She was there whenever I did like all my doobies to dollars, my podcast stuff. She was there at the studio with me outside the room, but she was there, you know, so she saw, I do that. So she knows I make all my money online. Does she know exactly the details? No. Whenever she asks me, am I going to be honest? Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, and I think I'm going to get the same answer that your daughter gave you. Like, oh, that's that fits you perfectly. I know she won't be judgmental because we were having a conversation one day about trans. and um. I just asked her, I mean, I'm not trans or anything, but I just asked her because I want to see where her head was at. Like, what if I thought I was a man or wanted to be a man? How would that make you feel? She's like, I don't care what you want to be. <laughs> so awesome. when she told me that, that let me know when I tell her what I do, it's not going to be a problem. I was going to say the relationship that you have with your daughter too is amazing. And you should be really, you know, proud of yourself because you are doing a really amazing job mm-hmm. you're guiding her and she's going to be an amazing woman one day mm-hmm. i mean just based off of how amazing you are trust me you are doing everything that you need to and you definitely broke the generational trauma you really did you did, really she, did. Well. she did not let that affect her mothering style she's an amazing mother an amazing parent right. she's an amazing provider not many people can say that so paisley you should really give yourself a pat in the back because you did great mm-hmm. yeah, thank i you. think I think um, I think you're doing exactly what what needs to be done. I do the same thing. My kids know that I work online. I'm st- a streamer. You know, I do social media. And when they find out that it's sexual, so what? You know, my mom knows. My pa- I'm not shy about what I do. Like, the city that I grew up in, they know. People come to me for advice in the city that I, like, just... But me and my mom clash heads about, you know, well, they can never know what you do. And I'm just like, listen, my oldest knows what I do, you know, but he's grown, like out the house grown. But um, my younger ones, when they find out, they find out and I'm okay with that, you know. Are you in the city that you grew up in? I am. Okay. So how did you get over that mentality of... I'm going to do this and I don't care if people that I grew up with or I went to high school with, you know, it, it, cause that is, we were talking about us being our own, you know, our worst enemy. How did you get over that fear of, you know, people are going to judge me and I went to high school with these people. If I go to the grocery store and you know, how did, no you, how did you, I get off on that shit. I do. Like do I really do. I, I um, the fact that the fact that I can just like I've always marched to the beat of my own drum though. So I like that shock factor from people. I don't know why I get off on it. I can't help it. It's I guess it's a kink or a fetish or whatever. But um I have no issue with how people feel about me. None. I'm the same way. Like I I'm from here too. And like when people like I, how I react to is like, can I do anything for you? You wanna buy any of my you know my things? Like can I help get you off? Like <laughs> That's fantastic. I, here's my links. Buying things like, oh, yeah, here's my links. I always do that to you. Want my card? Here you go. Okay. I think that's fantastic. I, y'all, that is one of the, from what I've heard, that's one of the biggest stoppers to stopping people. I'm afraid that people are going to judge me. You know, it's, it's, and it's true. People have a reason to be afraid. But at the same time, when you get that confidence and you realize that this is just another job and you got to do what you got to do, hey, 
Y'all yeah, are business they, owners. We need to own that shit. We, yeah. This is our, our life. I noticed a lot of us like feel like have grown up like that way, like the odd man out, the weirdo. Like I feel like a lot of us have, are like that, and we have more confidence in what we do than other mm-hmm. people. You know, because we're conditioned our whole life. Yeah, that's true. So where can everybody find y'all at? And then, of course, I'll be tagging the Care Model Collective, but y'all individually in that. I'm on Chatterbait on occasion. I'm going to be streaming on Streamate. I did sign up, so I'm going to check that shit out. I'll let you know how it is, Paisley. Oh, you my God. Yeah. I have to get over there, too. Okay. Oh <laughs> Even if you got to, like, do a character, like, maybe just strictly doming or something, just jump on there and, and do what you got to do. It's, girl, it's good money. And I'm on Sex Panther, um, Instagram, Twitter, X, whatever it is now. I mean, you can check out my socials. Paisley will post them, but I'm all over the place. Okay. <laughs> Me too. I'm um, Red Ivy 420 on Instagram. I'm on Streamate as Cuppy Carter. Um, Gypsy Red Ivy is um, Gypsy underscore, wait, Gypsy Red underscore Ivy is my ex. Um, and then I'm Kepi Carter everywhere else. So you can find me, and I'm always on the Cam Girl Coll- Cam Model Collective. <laughs> should we say that again so we can <laughs> cut that out? <laughs> Cam Model Collective. No, I'm gonna tag y'all, and then I'll just message y'all for all the links and stuff. So I'll put it in the description. Well, not the adult stuff, but all your socials and the Cam Model Collective. Awesome. So go check them out because they are amazing individuals. These women are powerful and they are good at what they do. So no. thank you for coming on my channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks and for having us. Watchers, subscribe, hit that bell button. Don't ever miss an upload from P. Right. Well, everyone have a good evening. You too. Mm-hmm. See you later. Bye.